What's up, guys? Hope you are doing well. Welcome back to Roblox Alum. The stock market caught up in the GameStop trading craze and recently put an attention to the gaming industry's latest entrant, which is none other than Roblox. It debuted on the New York Stock Exchange last week through straightforward listing and was rated at a mind-boggling $45 billion. The gaming platform of the future has confirmed itself to be a pandemic mainstay among youth, with daily screen time usage almost doubling in the past year alone. For many parents, this notes as an important inflection point as many witness an innocent pandemic fun transform into a blooming business. The last time emotions were driving this high was when Baby Shark hit the Billboard Hot 100's top 40 list. But Roblox is more than just addictive music, it's a money-making machine. Throughout the past year, even if parents haven't joined in on the platform directly as gamers, they were either watchful spectators or uncertain financial endorsers, loaning out their credit cards for in-game investments. Well, Roblox is a gaming community open to all ages. It has noticed its popularity rise mainly among school-aged children during the pandemic, as in-person playdates were exchanged for virtual ones within pixelated worlds. According to the company's SEC filing report, 54% of Roblox users were under the age of 13. This is a huge chunk considering that Roblox brags 31.1 million daily active users. Fortnite, considered to be one of the most popular games ever made, has 31.3 million daily active users. Thinking of Roblox versus Fortnite's Amazon, Roblox is an active and expanding metaverse of creator-built content with more than 18 million experiences. Roblox has also confirmed that it stays culturally relevant. In November 2020, the platform hosted its first virtual concert with Lil Nas X, the king of the crossover, who rose to TikTok game in 2019 for the hit song Old Town Road and is thought as an excellent competitor to Elon Musk as the meme lord of our generation. The concert with Lil Nas X was a major victory and was on brand for Roblox. It put the gaming platform in the same league as Fortnite, which hosted its own virtual concert with Travis Scott last year. What differentiates Roblox from Fortnite is that Roblox is not a single game but somehow a paradigm shift in the form of human co-experiences, all created by its community of players. In other words, Roblox is a full economy unto itself. This economy has its own currency called Robux. You can enjoy Robux to spend on experiences and on items for your avatars. Game creators and developers, on the other hand, earn Robux by creating engaging experiences the players find compelling enough to purchase. The platform allows developers and creators to convert Robux back into real-world currency, as we've seen with the popularity of apps like Clubhouse and Dispo, the creator revolution is moving toward an inflection point by supporting lucky and temporary content over curated manufacture feeds. Roblox is an example of underdeveloped play at its finest in the virtual and digital environment. It does not offer a constant cutting-edge gaming experience like Fortnite or Halo. Instead, its focus is on immersive experiences and community interaction. By building an ecosystem that runs on virtual tokens, Roblox is almost preparing the next generation of gamers to understand the nuances of the token economy. When asked by a kid about what he liked most about the Roblox game, he replied, build a boat for treasure, and said that he and his friends got a kick out of building boats that were designed to fail. In fact, gaming is only one element of the experience. Roblox is a launching pad into the creator economy. Kids who start out as players can more deftly climb the ladder as creators and potentially earn significant revenue. CEO David Bazuki in an interview with CNBC said, What used to be a pastime has become a job for an individual person and now is more and more serving as the foundation for large, extremely creative studios who are developing on the platform, as documented in Roblox's filing over a period of 12 months ending on September 30, 2020, more than 960,000 developers and creators have amassed Robux on the platform, and nearly 250 developers and creators earned 
$100,000 in Robux in the past year. This brings us to tokens, which is the other cultural touchpoint that is the latest sensation to capture the attention of the tedium economy. Robux are tokens in a virtual economy similar to tokens on the blockchain. A sharp internet search discloses that black market trading of Robux is already underway. By building an ecosystem that runs on virtual tokens, Roblox is almost priming the next generation of gamers to appreciate the nuances of the token economy. The only difference right now is that they can acquire their Robux on the open market or on the blockchain. Neither can they trade their avatars or skins as NFTs, but it's only a matter of time. With that being said, it's time to end our video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates. Thanks for watching.